A sculpture of a swimming man is displayed on the banks of the Thames on September 18, 2007 in London. This statue is located near London Bridge and is 46 feet long and 10 feet high. It features a lifelike swimmer swimming through the grass. The statue is made out of polystyrene and is hand-painted to resemble human flesh. This sculpture is located in Onesti, Romania. It depicts one of the nation's most revered writers, Mihai Eminescu, who was born long ago, in 1850. This sculpture is interesting because of its open spaces. It's in one sense a realistic depiction of Eminescu, but lets the city in via its open spaces and this makes it very interesting and different. When viewed from different angles, it will provide a range of views of the city. This magic tap in Spain is one of a few of these fountain sculptures around the world. At first, it baffles viewers, where is the water coming from? Of course, the water isn't miraculously appearing out of nowhere. It's an illusion. There's a transparent tube running up the stream, but the gushing water hides it. A statue of a giant lady with her head stuck in a photo booth was exhibited in Victoria train station. The girl at Victoria Station had a tattoo of a stylized pigeon made to look like a classic war eagle tattoo, complete with tattered feathers and a gimpy foot. Die by the day in Hamburg, Germany, the British beauty products company Soap and Glory has installed Die by the day a 13-foot high, 67-foot long sculpture of a bathing lady in the waters of Alster Lake. The company did this out of a sense of duty. It seems, seven miles north of Florence rests a giant treasure from the Renaissance known as Colosso dell'Appennino, or the Appennine Colossus. The 35-foot-tall gigantic sculpture is found in Villa Demidov and was built by the 16th-century Italian sculptor Giambologna. The prototype of the monument was an installation by Jerzy Kalina from 1977. The crossing set in Warsaw at Swiatokazishka and Majhovica streets. Created for the purposes of the television program, it was dismantled and then went to the National Museum in Wrocław for 28 years. The monument, in which the plaster statues replaced the bronze figures, was unveiled on the night of 12 to the 13th of December 2005 on the 24th anniversary of the imposition of martial law. Artist Irvin Laurent Hervey created an impressive sculpture called Popped Up that depicts a giant man crawling out of the earth. The polystyrene sculpture is located at Cheney Square in Budapest, Hungary and was one of the highlights for the Art Market Budapest 2014 International Contemporary Art Fair. This fantastically evocative sculpture by Zenos Frudakis also simply known as Freedom is a statement about the struggle for achievement of freedom through the creative process. It depicts a human figure evolving and emerging from cocoon-like beginnings in a wall, until three iterations later it runs free, arms aloft across the pavement, a 20 feet long. 8 feet high sculpture is currently located in front of the GSK World Headquarters in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The Force of Nature is a series of sculptures by artist Lorenzo Quinn that depict a woman pivoting the world around with a piece of cloth. The woman, presumably Mother Nature, is swept with a gust of wind, forcefully draping her attire and hair behind her. There is a vigorous sense of motion radiating from each installation that also performs a remarkable balancing act between the earthly sphere and its navigator. Having displayed slightly different versions of this piece all over the world, from England and the United States to Monaco and Singapore, each sculpture provides its own sense of twirling motion without the slightest bit of physical movement. This original sculpture rising from the ground and gently wrapping its fingers around a tree sends a message of environmental responsibility and care. It is found in Glaras, Switzerland and was created by Eva Ertley. Spider is a giant sculpture of an arachnid that stands on the floor. The artwork is made of bronze, stainless steel, and marble sculpture by the artist Louise Bourgeois. The sculpture, which depicts a spider, is among the world's largest, measuring over 30 feet high and over 33 feet wide. It includes a sack containing 32 marble eggs and its abdomen and thorax are made of ribbed bronze. The artwork depicts a local Bohemian girl carrying the weight of the ocean above her in reference to the ancient Greek myth of Atlas, 
the titan who held up the heavens. Ocean Atlas is the largest single sculpture ever to be deployed underwater. It reaches 5 meters up from the sea floor to the surface and weighs over 60 tons. Due to the sheer scale of the sculpture, it had to be assembled underwater in sections using an ambitious new technique developed and engineered by Jason Dick Irish Taylor. Regarded as the largest equestrian sculpture in the world, the magnificent art piece titled The Mustangs of Las Colinas, created by the reputed Kenyan sculptor Robert Glenn was installed in 1984 as the centerpiece of Williams Square Plaza in the Las Colinas Urban Center in Texas, USA. The breathtakingly realistic sculpture depicts a herd of nine bronze mustangs galloping and splashing water while crossing a granite prairie stream, created by small fountains strategically placed beneath the hooves of the horses. The Lion Monument or the Lion of Lucerne, is a sculpture in Lucerne, designed by Bertel Toverson. It commemorates the Swiss guards who were massacred in 1792 during the French Revolution. When revolutionaries stormed the Tuileries Palace in Paris, the Latin inscription on the carved cave reads, To the bravery and fidelity of the Swiss, a symbol of courage, loyalty and bravery of Swiss soldiers, the monument, undoubtedly, holds great significance among Swiss people. Situated in the front the corner of Ribers Cabrana, the Fisherman's Gate, at the junction of Panska and Lorinska streets in the old town of Bratislava, the unusual bronze statue named Cumil, but popularly called Man at Work, depicts the torso of a man with a hard headgear, who peeks his head from underneath a manhole cover, rests his chin on his arms and keeps looking, with a grin on his face. Cumil is a Slovak word, which means, the watcher. There are two possible explanations for its name. It is possible that the man in the statue is trying to take some rest after a hard day's work of cleaning the sewer or it is also possible that he is waiting patiently to get a look under the skirts of the passing women. Ukrainian artist Nazar Bilik produced the six-foot-tall sculpture Rain as a symbol of man's communication with nature, a conversation between the human race and the world around us. The bronze sculpture features an ordinary man looking upward. A giant glass raindrop placed over his face. This orb of transparent glass seems to balance correctly, a sort of calm communing passing between the droplet and the lone figure. If you ever come to Ukraine you can see it at Kiev Fashion Park. This wonderful sculpture is called First Generation and was created by Chong Fa Chong. First Generation was unveiled on December 31, 2000 and depicts a group of boys jumping into the Singapore River near the Fullerton Hotel. It was created as part of a series of sculptures by various sculptors, in the Open Air Interpretative Center project by the Singapore Tourism Board. The Enigmatic Sphinx measures 66 feet in height, and 240 feet in length from paw to tail and represents a mystical creature with the body of a lion and the head of a human man. Despite its name in Arabic, which translates as the father of dread, the Sphinx of ancient Egyptian mythology is considered to have been a symbol of strength, intelligence and benevolence. The Great Sphinx of Giza is the largest structure created from a single piece of stone. It is also a figure synonymous with ancient Egyptian culture and remains shrouded in mystery. Puppy a West Highland Terrier 40 feet high, is one of the most famous dogs in the world and in particular is the background of many of the pictures that tourists take of Bilbao. It is created by American artist Jeff Koons. Puppy is carefully tended to every day of the year. Inside the 12-meter high, 15-ton sculpture is a metallic structure comprising five floors of scaffolding that houses the watering system. The walls are made of boxes of soil covered by metallic mesh and a green geotextile membrane. The soil is changed every four years, a task that takes 20 days to complete. The flowers themselves are replaced every six months in a process that usually takes 10 days and involves 25 gardeners. In summer, Puppy wears impatiens, marigolds, lobelias, begonias and ageratums. In winter he always wears pansies as they tolerate the cold. The Burmese city of Monua boasts what is currently the largest of the world's reclining Buddhas. The reclining figure represents Buddha during his last illness, 
before passing into the state of nirvana after death and is one of the most widespread and potent Buddhist iconic symbols. The Burmese figure, built in 1991, is 300 feet in length, the head 60 feet high. Inside the hollow construction are 9,001 foot high metal images of the Buddha and his disciples depicting various representations of important events in the Buddha's life. The Headington Shark, proper name entitled 1986, is a rooftop sculpture located at 2 New High Street, Headington, Oxford, England, depicting a large shark embedded headfirst in the roof of a house. The shark first appeared on the 9th of August 1986, having been commissioned by the house's owner Bill Heiner, a local radio presenter. The painted fiberglass sculpture weighs four long hundredweight, 200 kilograms, is 25 feet, 7.6 meters, long, and is named untitled 1986, written on the gate of the house. It took three months to build. The Kelpies are 30 meter high horse head sculptures depicting Kelpies, shape-shifting water spirits, located between Falkirk and Grangemouth standing next to a new extension to the Forth and Clyde Canal, and near River Karen, in the Helix, a new parkland project built to connect 16 communities in the Falkirk Council area, Scotland. The sculptures were designed by sculptor Andy Scott and were completed in October 2013. The sculptures form a gateway at the eastern entrance to the Forth and Clyde Canal and the new canal extension built as part of the Helix Land Transformation Project. The Kelpies are a monument to horse-powered heritage across Scotland. In 2004, the annual meeting of the World Association of Zoos and Aquariums was held in the park. In order to rectify the park, the director of the park held many discussions and finally created the beloved Hippopotamus Square. The square features that the ground is taken as water so that only the upper part of the hippo's body can be seen. The scene of the hippo swimming in the water and playing with each other vividly shows the living situation of animals. Hand of Harmony An immense bronze structure of a hand rising from the sea has become a popular place for natives and tourists. It is a pair of hands was constructed in December 1999. The left hand is on the land and the right hand is in the ocean. It was built to give the message that all people are living together helping each other. Completely crafted from plants, the impressive Mother Nature sculpture and water feature in Atlanta Botanical Garden looks as though she's risen straight up from the earth. Expect to hear a few spontaneous shouts of Moana. When you visit, the large sculpture bears resemblance to the character Afiti making it one of the most popular attractions in the park. The dream sculpture at Sutton Manor Woodlands is a 20-meter high sculpture that resembles a girl's face located on the former site of Sutton Manor Colliery in St. Helens, Merseyside. Constructed in 2009, it was designed by world-renowned artist Jaume Plensa and can be seen from miles around. It sits amongst newly established woodlands and is served by a network of paths from all directions. It is definitely the highlight of a very pleasant hour-long walk. Rundle Mall may be stymied to see four pigs hogging the pedestrian walkway, but Marguerite Derricourt's sculpture a day out has provided merriment since it was installed in 1999. After winning a national competition sponsored by the Adelaide City Council, Horatio, Truffles, Augusta, and Oliver took their place in the middle of the city's main shopping district, which is peppered with convivial art. From the look of these four life-size bronze pigs, they are having a great day out in Rundle Mall. One has his snout in a rubbish bin bronze capped with a crumpled milk carton, orange peel, a half-eaten banana, apple core and a leftover sandwich. Another happily sits with its very large bottom spread on the pavement, while still another comes running to join the fun. They all glow from the loving hugs and pats of children and passers-by. Salmon swimming through the corner of a building parallels the light-hearted, eccentric reputation of Portland itself. Made by Oregonian sculptor Keith Yellum, the hand-forged bronze fish measures 11 feet in length. It was placed in a very fitting location on a seafood restaurant on Salmon Street. The absurdity of an oversized metal salmon crashing through the brickwork of a popular restaurant is not lost on those who notice it, 
though its location on the third floor of the building means that it is often overlooked by passers-by. Devar Kapoe by Belgian artist Tom Franzen is a humorous statue of a policeman being tripped by a man hiding in a sewer manhole. Created in 1985, the statue is located in St. Jans Malenbeek, Brussels. The bold statue advocating for non-violence in a number of ways. The knot at the end of the gun screams with symbolism that is very touching, especially today as gun laws are highly scrutinized. The knotted gun. This is located in Turtle Bay, New York, USA. This pro-peace sculpture is by Swedish artist Carl Fredrik Reutersward, designed in late 1980 and inspired by the shooting death of his pal, John Lennon. Creation of the United Nations The Knotted Gun. Non-violence. The Knotted Gun by Carl Frederick Reutersward, in front of UN Building NY. The Rising Tide depicts a series of walking horses with riders on the banks of the River Thames in central London. It was positioned within sight of the Houses of Parliament as part of the 2015 Totally Thames Festival, which celebrates the River Thames every September. It was funded by Lumina Primate in Jingzhou city of China's Hubei province. A colossal statue magnificently stands as it seems to watch over the city. The monumental statue depicts the legendary Chinese military general Guan Yu. According to Chinese history, Guan Yu served under the warlord Lu Bei in the Eastern Han Dynasty, 25 to 220 AD. Being Lu Bei's bravest and strongest general, he became one of the best known historical figures in Chinese history. Due to his loyalty and unyielding courage, he was depicted as a god of war in Chinese mythology. Today, Guan Yu is worshipped as the god of strength, courage, perseverance, and wealth as his figure embodied all these qualities. As a tribute to the great general, a gigantic 1,320-ton Guan Yu statue was unveiled in Jingzhou City in July 2016. A giant stainless steel fork is to Vevi, a lakeside town in Switzerland. While the bronze lady looks out at the sea waiting for her prince, the La Fauchette faces passers by, as if waiting for someone to pull it out of the waters of Lake Geneva where it has been embedded since 2007. This would be a superhuman feat, as the fork weighs a monumental 929 pounds and stands tall at 26 feet and 2.4 inches. It was declared the world's tallest fork in 2014 and has become a town symbol. Man hanging out sculpture is a special artwork that is admired by the locals as well as tourists. This is one of the greatest artworks of David Gurney, a legendary artist, still present in the city. A number of tourists visit this destination to check out this interesting sculpture. This sculpture basically depicts Sigmund Freud hanging out of the building. If you are somewhere near Bethlehem Chapel, then do make sure to look up. You can reach this destination easily using taxi or even public transport. Man Hanging Out Sculpture is a must-visit landmark in Prague that highlights the creative beauty of the city.